Hey, VWell News viewers, we've got some exciting and slightly nerve wracking news from the world of medical advancements. A committee of top-notch experts advising the FDA recently gave the thumbs up to a new blood test for colon cancer. Say hello to the God and Health Shield test. In a clinical trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the God and Health Shield test was found to have 83% sensitivity rate, which means that more than 90% of patients who already had the cancer were tested positive on the Shield blood test. Okay, it's being endorsed for its safety and effectiveness, but before you toss out those colonoscopy prep kits, there's a catch. The FDA doctors and researchers have made it clear, while this blood test is a promising step forward, it's not quite ready to replace the trusty old colonoscopy just yet. Um, while it may reach the threshold for FDA approval, it would not be one of the tests that I would be jumping towards and I believe the fear of the colonoscopy to be best addressed by informing your patient that the specificity and sensitivity are insufficient on the blood work in order to give you as the physician a confident uh, reply to the individual, do I have cancer or do I not? Here are some numbers. Every year, about 150,000 people in the U.S. hear the words, you have colon cancer, and around 53,000 of them will die from it. This is why screening is crucial. Most folks get screened via colonoscopy or fecal tests, methods approved by the FDA ages ago and proven to be more accurate than the new blood test. Let's understand it. Colorectal cancer, CRC, kicks off in the colon or rectum, parts of our large intestine responsible for absorbing water from food and getting rid of waste. CRC usually begins as benign growths called polyps on the inner lining of the colon or rectum. Some of these polyps can turn nasty over many years, transforming into cancer. Here are the symptoms to watch for. Rectal bleeding, blood in the stool, dark or black stools, changes in bowel habits, hello narrow stools, cramping or abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, fatigue or weakness. Now, what are the risk factors? Poor diet, lack of exercise, high alcohol consumption, and smoking, you know, all the usual suspects. Personal or family history of CRC or adenomas, those pesky polyps, inflammatory bowel disease, and type 2 diabetes. Genetics also play a role with inherited conditions like Lynch syndrome and polyposis syndromes. Screening is vital because early stage CRC often sneaks around without signs. Some of the symptoms might be to something else, like blood in the stool, for example, that is often caused by hemorrhoids. According to researchers at Randox Health in the UK, providers of genetic testing for bowel cancer, the risk of developing colorectal cancer is influenced by genetics, age, and lifestyle. Specific DNA mutations can be inherited and increase the risk of CRC. If you are concerned with those variations, you should get tested to minimize your risk. Check in the description of this video to check some links. According to experts, treatment depends on the stage and might include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and target therapies. Catching it early makes a huge difference in survival rates. The five-year survival rate for CRC is about 64%, but this number shoots up to 90% for localized cancer caught early, so early detection is a game-changer. Colorectal cancer might sound scary, but with regular screening and health lifestyle choices, you can kick its butt. Remember, early detection saves lives. If you were due for a screening or haven't had one yet, talk to your doctor. Let's keep those colons healthy, folks. If you like this video, press the button below and subscribe. Be healthy, be well.